Yo, 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 what's going on guys? Reese here from Stokepool and in this video we're going to be talking about how to buy Ada. Let's get into it. Right guys, so you can buy Ada from most major exchanges. Um, Binance, you can get it on Uphold, you can get it on eToro probably. I mean, I haven't actually checked that. I should probably have not Coinbase, but hopefully soon. Um, yeah, so in this video, I'm gonna show you where I, I buy it on Binance basically. So we're just gonna use Binance because it's um, one that I know how to use and so it's quite easy to navigate. Uh, I already have an account with them, so I don't need to worry about that. The first thing you need to do if you buy an ADA is make sure the exchange you're going to sign up for actually sells it. Uh, then the other thing you're going to need to do is um, make your account. Okay, I've already made an account, so I'm not going to be going through that process specifically. Um, but if we turn to my computer here, then we're going to walk through the process. So what you're going to need to do, this is Binance. I've signed in already, got my account. And what you, the first thing you're going to need to do is deposit some cash. So I use pounds because I'm British. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to deposit with my card because it's the quickest, easiest way to do that. So I just click deposit with card. It takes us to this screen here. Enter amount. I'm just going to do 20 pounds. Um, and the thing about this. So I have the option here of, of depositing straight into Bitcoin. Um, the problem with this is that I'm just going to search because they might have changed it. But so, as of yet, you can't buy Cardano straight away. So you can't just purchase ADA tokens, which is a shame. So what you need to do instead is buy Bitcoin. So I've got my card saved. Yeah, Bitcoin selected. I've got my card saved here. Uh, so I've just got £20. I'm going to buy. It's going to take me somewhere like this. For non, make sure you've enabled international transactions. I don't know what that means. I mean, it should be okay. Confirm. <laughs> Let's confirm it. That was nice. So then it's going to take me to this lovely checkout page. I thought it was going to make me do it with my phone, but it's not going to. And once we get this, processing. I mean, it's 20 pounds, shouldn't be an issue. So it just says, please wait while we process your order. It'll be automatically redirected. In the meantime, you can visit other pages. Deposited, Bitcoin, done. Look at that, lovely. So now we go to our spot wallet. We don't need to go to our spot wallet, but we will. And in your spot wallet, it'll show up around here somewhere. Bitcoin, there it is. And here's my value. Okay, so what I want to do with this is I want to trade this Bitcoin for Cardano. So most coins are traded from Bitcoin into the specific coin. Not all exchanges just allow you to buy a coin with cash. Instead, you have to buy Bitcoin and Bitcoin is basically the main trading pair for every other coin. So what we'll do is we'll go to trade or go to markets here. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to markets. Now I have it in my favorites, but normally you just go search coin name. ADA or ADA is the ticker and then you go ADA Bitcoin right by there. I want to go to advanced or classic trade. It doesn't really matter. I just use the advanced trade because I like the extra features of, of looking at the um, looking at the market basically and, and what, what's going on with this this pair. And then it's going to open a window. Now because I've got my screen in 4K it looks tiny. Sorry about that. So this is basically what's going on. None of that really matters. What we need to look at is we need to look at this by here which is the current price of ADA. Okay, this is what it's going for. And then in this window by here, what you'll see is you have your, um, the amount of Bitcoin you have, or the, the price in Bitcoin here, which is 0 0.0000817. And what you wanna do is just select the amount of ADA you wanna buy, or you can use this slider in Binance here, which is quite fancy to go as a percentage percentage slider of your Bitcoin holdings. You can just buy however much that is in ADA. So I can buy 85 ADA with my 20 pounds worth of Bitcoin. And yeah, that's it. That's literally all you do, you click buy. Now what you can do, a little bit of an advanced feature here, I mean, it's not that advanced, but you can go here and you can create an order for a certain price. So say I don't wanna spend 
817 Satoshis on my uh, ADA. I want to spend 810. Then I'd create my order. I just change that to 810. Um, then it shows the rough price. Is that the accurate rough price or is that just what it says right now? That's an accurate rough price. So now it's 22.6472p um, in pounds, obviously. And I can correct this. I can slide it back up. Now I get 86. Ada. Okay, so when you're buying in a bigger volume, this can be very good to do. So you can basically say, oh, I reckon the market, I reckon the price is going to drop a little bit. And then you create an order and it'll just sit there waiting uh, for that price to come to match that price. So then it'll make the purchase. But we're not worried about that. It's actually dropped one Satoshi. So now it's 816. I'm just going to reset that. I'm going to click the buy. And what that'll do is it'll basically fill the order. My order's just sat by here now, you can see. It'll basically just fill the order straight away, um, which is good because that's what we want to do. Buy ADA. Done. Now you have some ADA. But this is not, so I'm just going to go to my wallet here, actually. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, and spot wallet. And we can see here ADA. So here I've got a little bit more than what I ordered because I already had some in there. Um, but it's there. So that's where my ADA is now. You can see my Bitcoin is 518 Satoshis because they, there wasn't enough left to fill by an extra ADA token, basically. Um, so that's it. I've now bought some ADA. Now I own that ADA. Well, technically, uh, see, this is, this is a trick. You trick me into saying it. So technically, I don't owe this ADA because it's on the exchange wallet. It's not my ADA. I just, I just bought a token. So it's like... It's like doing your online shopping on Amazon, but not getting it delivered to you. You just buy it and then it stays in Amazon. Okay, and that, that's the problem with buying or leaving your crypto on an exchange, which I'm going to get into in another video. But basically, right now, I want to move that those ADA tokens off the exchange onto my own wallet. So I take custody of my tokens. All right, there's a very famous saying in crypto, not your keys, not your crypto. And that basically means if I don't have the, the keys for my uh, wallet. So if I don't own the security keys, like the passphrase for my uh, for that wallet, for those crypto tokens, then they're not mine. They're not technically mine. So as long as my uh, tokens stay on this exchange on Binance, then they're not my tokens. I can't stake them to stake pool. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I can't. Uh, uh, well, I could earn passive income because sometimes um, certain exchanges do have staking options or stuff like that. Um, but if something was to happen, like Binance at any point could just lock my account and all my stuff's frozen, I can't access any of it. Um, they could get hacked and everyone could just be drained, which has happened on exchanges before. Uh, basically, all you need to think is if it's not off the exchange in my own wallet, so I'm not taking custody, it's like basically a digital version of these. Um, then it's not my crypto. I just I've just paid for it, <laughs> which is a bit of a strange concept to get your head around. But if you think of it like you're buying stuff off Amazon and then you haven't got it delivered, it's just staying in Amazon. Then it can't, you kind of get the idea. Like why would you do that? So in another video, I'm going to explain how to get this off uh, onto a wallet. Actually, you know what? I'll just run through it quickly. So you create a wallet like this, like a Euroy wallet, or you get your hands on one of these bad boys, like a Ledger, because uh, or a Trezor. These ones, there's a link in the description to get one of these, by the way. Um, these are hardware wallets, so you have an actual physical. Okay, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. So you have an actual physical wallet like this, and oh, it's this way around. So you have an actual physical wallet like this. Um, yeah or like the Treasure, Trezor, which is another different company hardware wallet. And you can use that as a, as a way to connect to your digital wallet, uh, which basically means this is the passcode, so this is the key. Or you create like a digital version of one of these, which has like a passphrase, which is something you just write down on a bit of paper. I'm gonna explain all that in a different video, but basically you wanna transfer it off the exchange as soon as possible, put it in your own wallet that you own, that you have the keys for, and then you can think about doing stuff like staking for passive income, or just generally keeping your money safe and actually being in control of your own money instead of potentially losing it on an exchange. Okay, if the only reason you would keep it on an exchange is if you're about to sell it. And that's the only time you wanna move stuff back into the exchange and otherwise get rid get it off as soon as possible. Just move it somewhere, keep it safe, move it onto a ledger, move it onto a Trezor. If you have like a Kobo or something like that for different tokens, they don't support Cardano at the minute. 
basically you want to move it to one of the um, Cardano wallets. So you've got Uroi, you've got Daedalus, you've got Adalite, and I think Exodus. Is Exodus a thing? Um, yeah, so more on that in another video. Guys, if this has been a help, give us a like, subscribe for more um, beginners tutorials on buying, looking after, staking, securing, and all things Cardano. Uh, if you have some Cardano and you're looking to stake it, delegate it to Stoic Pool. That's my pool that I run. Stoic Pool, stoicpool.com. Uh, the ticker is STOIC, S-T-O-I-C. You can find it in any of these, um, uh, date, and you can find it in any of the wallets, Daedalus, Uroi, or anywhere else that you can delegate. Um, yeah, guys, that's it. Leave us any questions or comments you got in the box below. Give us a like, share us with your mates, and I'll catch up with you in the next one. Keep in touch with yourselves.